I, 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 don't, I don't know how to process this information. I really don't know how to process the way today went. I really don't. I, I do not at all. The whole the whole weekend, I do not know how to process this. What a wild weekend. We, we got we got to start on Saturday first, because that's where the crazy stuff really began. Chiefs, Broncos. Yeah, the Chiefs were down at one point in this game. And then all you had to do was, you know, punch that ball straight out of Melvin Gordon's hands. Melvin Ingram punched that ball straight out of Melvin Gordon's hands. That turned the tides. Chiefs, they at least get the number two seed. We'll talk about who gets the number one in a minute. But... Broncos, bad way to end their season. Big Fangio. I, I don't know. I don't know if he's gonna be around next year. Broncos fans, I really don't know. Like, do y'all want him around? Because I, I, I honestly, I honestly don't think y'all do. Meanwhile, the Eagles, they just rested most of their guys. Like Gardner Minshew was the starting. And the Cowboys decided to say, hey, you know, um, yeah, let's let's whip up all the Eagles, and that's exactly. What the Cowboys did, even the second stringers for the Cowboys, you know, Cooper Rush was out here tossing touchdowns. I mean, Dak had five TDs on his own. I mean, my goodness, the Cowboys, you know, that is definitely a great morale booster, you know, especially with next week because, you know, uh, yada, 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 Washington beat the Giants. I mean, the Giants are a terrible organization that needs to be, you know, just a clean sweep. Something needs to happen out there in Washington. You know, something needs to happen out there in Washington, too. But definitely in New York, you know, something's got to give. Browns beat the Bengals. I don't think that really matters all that much. The Bengals are going to host a playoff game regardless. Lions beat the Packers. <laughs> now, that, that, was, that was supposed to be important, you know, because the Jags, you know, um, they're, they're, we're going to talk about the Jags in a moment, but... Um, yeah, the Lions won, so that means the Jags get the number one pick in the NFL draft, regardless of what they had done. We'll talk about what they done after we talk about the Steelers Ravens, because Tyler Huntley and company were taking on Big Ben and company. The Steelers needed the victory and some things to happen, and the Steelers, all they needed to do was get a kick in overtime, and they got exactly that. They got exactly what they needed in OT. I mean, my goodness, I mean, can, can you blame... The Steelers for trying. I mean, this was an effort by the Ravens. A, a damn good effort by both teams. But ultimately, the Steelers were able to get out with the W. They got the W, you know? And then the surprise result of the day, honestly, you know it's going to be the thumbnail for the night. It's either going to be this or the final game of the season, I think. I, I think it's fitting, you know, for this game. Because the Colts lost to the Jags. I know. The Colts got knocked straight out the playoffs, which is exactly what the Steelers and Ravens needed. Um, And they got blow out, basically. We're talking... Carson Wentz did not do well in this game. We're talking... This was a horrible, horrible game for the Colts to have. You can't have this. You got Trevor Lawrence putting up nice stat lines. 23 for 32, 223, and two TDs. Colts, Colts throwing a bad pick late. They almost had another one too, but they had had a bad interception late in this game. And I mean, th this is just how, 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 how do you blow? You guys are, are the Raiders of last year. You know, the Raiders of 2020. You blew it, Colts. You blew it. We're not talking about the Raiders of this year. We're talking about the Raiders of last year. Those That Raiders team blew it last year. But the Colts, this is how, this is, this is just insane. How do you blow this? You can't do that, bruh. You can't do that. What's wrong with you? In any case, in any case, Colts get knocked out by the Jags. Which helps the Steelers and the Ravens. Well, the Steelers, because they beat the Ravens. Vikings Bears doesn't matter. If you if you wanted to watch Gus Johnson, you got your wish. It's, it's a damn shame. You got stuck on the Bears Vikings, though. Um, Titans, they were in a dogfight with the Texans for a little while, but hey, 
they get that man, the king, you know, back. May potentially soon. We're talking real soon in like two weeks. You could be back. Derrick Henry, you could be back. And Ryan Tannehill's out here playing some good football. You know, he played some good football today. I'm surprised. I'm really surprised because, I mean, the Titans have lost like everything. They've lost so many guys, yet here they are. They clinched the number one seed in the AFC. They did what they needed to do against the Texans. Sure, it was a little struggle at first, but they got they got it done. That's all you need is to get it done. Now there was also the again, you know, like you know, there there, there was the, the late games, you know. Bills ultimately beat the Jets, so the Bills won the AFC East. That was that was pretty standard there. Um the Patriots on the other hand, Xavier Howard gets a pick six. Again, like I, I, this man always catching pick sixes. Somebody got to give off the Dolphins, though. Somebody's got to get him off of that team, man. But the Dolphins have not made the playoffs the last two years, yet here they are spoiling the Patriots' chances, you know, at getting the AFC's title and hosting a home game. Instead, the Patriots will go on the road. Yeah, that's right. They'll go on the road. And it's just like, how? You know, like, at least the Patriots are in the playoffs, but they're not hosting the playoff games, so that, that could be interesting. And, you know, you know they're, they're, they're going to be on the road. Mac Jones in his first playoff game, going to be on the road. It's going to be real, it's gonna be real interesting to see how the Patriots do in the playoffs. Uh, the Buccaneers, obviously, they shook off the Antonio Brown stuff. Uh, we'll actually talk about Antonio Brown yeah, later on this week, actually. Um... It's indoor football related, so that's why. <laughs> um, so we talk about that a little bit later. I, I forgot to discuss it on Friday. Uh, there was just no reason for me to. It is just too much drama, you know. That is both the Bucks' fault and Antonio Brown's fault. More so Antonio Brown's fault, it seems, you know. But I'm, I'm, again, I'm not gonna delve too much into my thoughts. I've seen some better videos about it. Um, yeah, the Bucks beat the Panthers pretty easily. Um, and guess what? The Bucks they they solidified themselves. They're getting the home playoff game, um, and yeah, yeah, that's basically it for that. The Saints did beat the Falcons. They beat them by ten. You know, Taysom Bill and company, Trevor Simeon. You know, they they did what they needed to do. They needed to win. But the problem was, the problem was the NFC West. And the Seahawks, behind Rashad Penny of all guys, beat the Cardinals. I mean, the Cardinals could not stop the run, could not stop Russell Wilson from tossing the ball everywhere. What what in the world is going on with this Cardinals team? Like, yeah, they beat the Cowboys last week, but that does not matter anymore. It does not matter anymore. Last week does not matter. It's this week that matters. And how do you lose to the Seahawks? A Seahawks team that... Just has completely lost all momentum due to injuries. In all, in all honesty, I mean that, and I mean the way the Seahawks, you know, have, you know, quietly gone into turmoil over the past few years with the whole Russell Wilson thing. You know, the, I mean things have gone downhill for the Seahawks a little bit, but the Cardinals did not need to lose this game, and they lost this game. Yeah, they lost this game, and guess what? No matter what the Rams did against the Forty ers the Rams won the NFC West. The Cardinals, they're going on the road. They're going on the road. And speaking of the Rams, yeah. What is wrong with Matthew Stafford? Like, at least Cooper Cup's doing good stuff. But Matthew Stafford has thrown way too many interceptions over the past few weeks. What is going on? Is this man's field vision not there? Because he threw two bad interceptions. We we had to go to overtime because of Debo. That's right, Debo Samuel making plays, and also Jawad Jennings as well, also making plays. And, I mean, the 49ers, they did what they needed to do, which was win, and they won this game with a game ceiling interception. I mean, despite the fact that the Rams had all this talent on the defense, they, they could not stop the 49ers, you know, onslaught of receivers of Jennings and Debo Samuel. I mean, Debo even threw a touchdown pass in this game. So, the 49ers, they're going to the playoffs. They are going to the playoffs. I know, right? Crazy stuff. And then last, but certainly not least, because of what happened earlier 
today, you know, what happened earlier today with the Colts and the Jags and the Steelers Ravens, you know, the games that I didn't think were going to matter, you know, but ultimately they did. They did end up mattering. And yet, Chargers Raiders could have been a tie. And that's exactly what we almost got. We almost got a tie. We're talking the Chargers made analytical decisions again. We're talking Brandon Staley just, I, I don't know what's wrong with this man. This man's, got, this man's got some type of problem because you don't go for it on fourth down inside your own 20-yard line. You don't do that. You don't do that. You don't call a timeout with two seconds left in overtime. You don't do that. I mean, you got Justin Herbert, and Herbert was out here doing his thing. I mean, this man was saving the Chargers season. This man was saving the Chargers season somehow, some way, until the Raiders were able to do what they needed to do with Derek Carr and company doing what they do, which is win. I mean, this was one hell of a game. One hell of a game. Josh Jacobs out here running the ball all over the Chargers, too. I mean, this was just a game. Austin Eckler was out here doing damage. I mean, this was just a fantastic game. A fantastic game from beginning to end. And ultimately, we almost got a tie. But instead, Daniel Carlson did it again. He kicked the game-winning field goal. And thus, the Raiders are going to the playoffs. And they bring the Steelers with them. And the Chargers, along with the Colts, along with the Ravens, eliminated from playoff contention. Eliminated. Pure insanity. Pure insanity. That is what this is. <laughs> this is crazy, bro. Like, we, we, we got the wild card. It's set now. 272 games have passed. They have elapsed. And now we got six games next week. Who, who's going where? The Raiders, who won the, who won on a last second field goal in overtime, get to go to Cincinnati to take on Joe Burrow. They get to take on Joe Burrow and the Cincinnati Bengals. Uh, the Patriots, they get the rematch the Bills. So we get round three Patriots-Bills on Saturday night. That's going to be crazy. Crazy, crazy game right there. Eagles Bucks starts our Sunday off. The Eagles and the Bucks played earlier this season, and it's a close game, actually. I think it was like a Thursday night game. 49ers Cowboys gets that that uh, that mid afternoon window. It's going to be a real interesting treat because the Cowboys are the three seed now. Buccaneers two, and that means, well, the Rams are the four seed. You know, Bengals are the. You know, they're, they're the three seed, the Bills are the four, the Chiefs the two. Of course, Titans and Packers, they're on bye weeks. So, Chiefs, they get to play, you know, as we, you know, get into the Sunday games again. You know, going back to the Sunday games real quick. Chiefs get to close out Sunday with the game against the Pittsburgh Steelers. And then Monday night, to conclude Wild Card Weekend, we get Cardinals-Rams round three. So we got a couple of, we got actually, yeah, we got we got a couple of rematches. In fact, four of these six games are going to be rematches, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. So this is going to be real, real fun to see, you know, how everything goes. Because, I mean, this is actually when we get five rematches. My bad, five rematches because the Bengals and the Raiders already played this year. So we get five rematches. In the first round of the playoffs, and it's gonna be, it's gonna be fun. I cannot wait. Let's do this, guys. I'll see you all Friday. You know, to talk about the wild card round. We'll do a preview for all that. We'll get all that you know done and locked and loaded. Friday, it'll be at some time on Friday. It won't be like I don't I don't know how the schedule's gonna go this week because you know. Yeah, there's, I don't think there's going to be a lot of videos this week. Uh, we're just trying to get things, you know, wrapped up over here because we need to get, I, I need to get some things done, you know, here. You know, keep, keep the place that I'm at. So, you know, uh, so with that being said, I'm going to get all out of here, skedaddle, take a good night's sleep. Um, 
and let's let's go. The NFL playoffs, they're right around the corner. Whew. What a weekend. The, probably the most wild and crazy season I think we've seen in quite a long time. <laughs> Good night, everybody.